You may be wondering why I'm projecting my anger onto those rocks. Rest assured, I don't hate the environment. I just hate Kevin Larson and his stupid A-plus receiving project, and also his stupid hair, face, and magnificently sculpted arms. You may also be wondering why all of this is relevant, and I guess you should explain. My name's Joe, and I'm average. I have an average name, average grades, average hobbies, and just an overall average life. And that is why capitalism is the best form of government. Kevin, great job. What an insightful perspective. Um, OK, Joe. Present your thesis. <clears throat> In the great unending debate between capitalism and socialism, I would argue that socialism proposes the best system of government for it allows equal opportunity for all of its citizens, allowing for self-actualization. Thank you, Joe. Remember, your papers are due next Friday. Among my many interests, such as embroidery, casual biking, and gaming, I'm very passionate about debate. My school started offering it this year as an elective credit. I'm one of the four students in the class who actually cares about it. Kevin, on the other hand, is short three of the four necessary elective credits required of students in order to graduate. Oh, yeah, and he also wants to get in Miss Krinsky's pants. Besides me, my parents are perhaps the most average people to have ever existed. My mom, she went to an average-sized university and graduated with a degree in business. She now works for an accounting firm named after a bunch of guys who strung their last names together. My dad, well, stepdad, also studied business and is an agent for a scammy insurance company. School, honey. Average. You're keeping up your grades? Um, yeah, I guess. You guess? You know, I just kind of have a lot on my plate right now. Well, average not going to get you into college. You might want to step up your game. Hey, Dad, I'll try. You know, Maybe you could lay off the video games a little bit and focus more on your schoolwork. Absolutely not! Video games are the only escape I have from this terrible reality. Well, that and my embroidery. In my casual biking, I guess. But that doesn't change Well, the maybe he's right. You know colleges are looking for the best of the best these days, and you don't- Wow, you're so supportive. I'm just saying it's hard to get into college these days. Also, casual biking is not a thing. Yes, it is. It's like normal biking, but less intense. Oh, yeah, baby. A plus. What? Are you serious? Miss Krinsky, how did I get an 82 on this? Well, Joe, it's not that your paper was bad. It was just average. Sorry, I've been, uh, distracted. Hey, do you know what you're gonna write about Ms. Krinsky's paper? No idea. I mean, how am I supposed to come up with a persuasive idea with no prompt or direction? Right? I'm completely lost. Can you take me home? I... drive bike. I'll manage. Well, then be my guest. Another great mystery of life is how some people possess the magical ability to make you feel better about yourself. Being with Gemma, I feel like I'm better than I actually am. Like, I'm not so average. Is this your place? Yep. All right. Thanks for walking. Yeah, it was fun. I mean, a little more casual than I'm used to, but uh, it was fun nonetheless. See you later then. Hey, uh, do you, do you like think that I'm average? What are you talking about? It was a dumb question, forget it. Yes, 
so I'll see you tomorrow then. Care to explain? I was just with a friend. For 30 minutes? You know, I'm not in the mood. Oh, and you think we are? We've been putting up with your attitude all week. What attitude? You've been rude to your mother and me all week. Not to mention your grades. Not one A, Joe. I thought we talked about you putting more effort into no, no, your no. schoolwork. Actually, we didn't talk about that. You scolded me because my grades weren't good enough for you. Then you commanded me to stop playing video games. It's not about my standards, Joe. It's about college standards. I'm just trying to help you. Do you think I'm not trying? Do you expect me to just magically start being an exceptional student? Or an exceptional person? Because that's not how it works. That's not who I am. Joe. No. In case you've forgotten, I'm not special. I'm average. What are you doing here? I was gonna ask you that. You know what it's like to feel average? Like you're not the best, but you're not exactly the worst either. You're just mediocre. So what? So what? So, well, does it mean that I'm just trapped? Am I ever gonna go anywhere or do anything? Or am I just fated to be ordinary? I don't see the problem. The problem is that I'll never be the best. I'm always just gonna be as good as the next guy. Joe, you need to stop comparing yourself to other people. That won't get you anywhere. And you can't change who you are, so maybe just accept it. Just because you're average doesn't mean you're not great. It's who you are that makes you great, Joe, not how well you can do things. Besides, there's nothing wrong with being ordinary. The world needs ordinary people. One of the great mysteries of life is how average people do great things. I used to think that it was only the greatest, only the most outstanding people who achieved things, but something changed my mind. And besides, is anyone really average? I mean, everyone possesses qualities that are unique to themselves, so can anyone truly be average in a world where no one is the same? I don't know, but I know you can't change who you are. And maybe if we just accepted who we are, accepted our averageness, we could learn how to be better people and eventually change the world. But that comes later. So I urge you, don't try to be above average if you're not. Being average doesn't mean you're any less of a person. It just means you've yet to discover all that you can be.